You can make anyone happy by presenting their artwork designed by you. Whether the artwork is in the form of drawing, painting, caricature or any cartoon type vector art, people will love to see their artwork. But you think that you cannot create artwork because you are not an artist. But after watching a series of videos including this, you will be definitely become an artist because through these videos, I am going to show you how to create any artwork from a photograph using some Photoshop techniques. Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Chupair and today you are going to learn how to create a vector art from a photograph. Before I jump into the tutorial, I would like to ask you, please do subscribe my channel and please don't forget to click on the bell icon because lot more videos are lined up in my channel. So let's quickly jump into the tutorials. Actually, it's quite easy to create the cartoon effect from a photo. We need to follow only a few steps to create the painting effects from this photo. So we are having the uh, photo of uh, Bollywood actress Deepika Padukone from the film Bajirao Mastani. I think this photo will give an outstanding painting effect after we go through certain process. So I am quickly going to start the process. So. Okay so uh, first we need to duplicate the layer so you can either press ctrl j or right click on duplicate the layer so i got the duplicate of this layer so now we have to remove the background i already explained about how to remove complex background from an image in many of my video tutorials if you haven't watched any of those video you can watch it from by clicking here or else you can uh, go to my description it's also there so you can watch those videos so now I am going to start removing the background using the quick selection tool okay so I am just using this and start remove I'll start from the bottom and just drag it over here and just drag <laughs> So I selected uh, this but I need to add some more to the selection so I can zoom it by pressing ctrl plus and uh, select this and I need to add the hair too so just uh, drag this towards this direction. So we got the selection and now I want to make this selection as a mask. So just select the layer and click on the mask button here. So we got the selection as the mask. So if I am removing this, you got that selection as the mask. Now I want to make some fine tuning in the selection by removing some uh, areas from the hair. So I am going to refine this, select this uh, mask and right click and refine mask okay so uh, I want to select the original image okay so I think this one I will be selecting this uh, from the view mode and I want to remove this area so if you want you can give the radius to 0.5 okay and just remove the area <laughs> okay so now we got it like this so now I just wanted to refine it one more to make a total blending on this masking so just right click here and refine mask now you just type the radius to 1 and uh, smoothness to 1 and contrast to 1 okay so total it will remove the fine edges so okay now we'll be getting a fine edges now i want to make a solid background for this image so i am creating a new layer i'll be creating the new layer above the background so i selected the background and create new layer okay here i'll be filling a color which is similar to this so i'll be selecting any color from this uh, 
so let me just select this color I'll make a brighter side of this okay and I'll just fill this with the paint bucket too so we got it like this so now I want to create a new shape layer just above the background so I'm going to create a shape using the pen tool just draw just make a curl out shape okay something like this is fine okay just bring down to here to here and fill so now we got the shape and now what I want to do is I want to change the color of the shape so just double click here and uh, pick any darker color from here uh, so I'll be picking this so I selected this darker brown yeah, I'll make a little more bar darker and click OK so now we got it like this and uh, now we are having three layers apart from the background so I am selecting these three layer together and making it as a smart object after selecting these three layers click right click and convert to smart object so now we got the smart object now I want to make the duplicate of this so I will be making two duplicate of the smart object so create one and create another one okay so I am having three of this okay I'll just disable these two and I will work on this now actual the uh, painting effect is going to start so I selected this layer first and I'm going to filter and I'm going to apply filter gallery so from here I'm going to first apply the poster edges and I am going to give the value of uh, 2 in the edge thickness and posterization value will be giving us uh, 6 okay so you can see this without effect and with effect so this is the first effect I've done and click OK okay since this is a smart object this will apply to the entire layers that uh, comes under the smart object the next filter I'm going to apply is uh, unsharp marks from the sharp and I'll be selecting unsharp marks okay so the mask will be more sharpened so I'm giving it as a 90 and uh, threshold will be 10 the radius will be same as that see you can just compare without and with so okay now I apply two filters to make a painting effect and now exactly I'm going to apply the oil paint effect so for that you have to go to filter menu and just apply oil paint okay and we'll be getting uh, the oil paint option here so now we got the oil okay here I'm going to apply the stylization into 5 cleanness into 1 scale into 0 0.1 uh, angular direction into 0 shine into 0 so we got this kind of effect okay if you want you can make any changes into the cleanness if it is zero this will be more accurate if I'm increasing the cleanness value to 10 it will be like this. so if you want exactly uh, like an original picture you can give the cleanness to zero anyway I'm giving cleanness as one okay so now itself it looks like a painting but I want to make it more accurate so for that I'm going to filter once again and from the sharpen I'm applying the unsharp mark once again to make it more uh, highlighted and contrasty in this edges it seems like so planted after applying this so this time I don't want too much of the amount for the unsharpening so I'm just reducing it to 60 and uh, the threshold if I if I'm increasing this will be like this so I don't want more thresholds if less threshold will more 
a contrast so I am just reducing the threshold to 6 okay you can just compare before and after now it is uh, having a very good contrast in the edges and everywhere okay so now we apply this and you can compare this see if I am switching off all this effect you can see uh, the things will be so different okay so now we got the painting effect like this and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some filters to this layer just above this one okay I'm just unhiding this so now I'm going to apply two filters to this so for that I'm just select this layer and apply filter and go to the poster edges from the filter gallery okay I'm applying the same value here and click OK and filter once again and select the oil paint effect and I'll be giving the same value as I've done earlier and this okay so we have two layers here and here so this one I'll just overlay with the bottom layer so instead of normal I'll be selecting this overlay and now I'll be just reducing the opacity to 30 okay or else I'll be giving a uh, 25 is fine okay now I have to work with the uppermost layer so I'm selecting this layer and unhiding this and for this layer I'm going to apply high pass effect so go to filter from other select high pass okay and I'll be giving a value of 2.5 okay so it will actually sharpen the edges see you'll be getting every area in a sharpen mode so I just uh, I just type 2.5 as it radius and we got a sharpen edges here and just click OK now I have to blend this with the bottom layer so I am going to select vivid light to get more accurate edges so we got it exactly like this now this image seems to be like a painting and if you want to make any changes in the background you can just make the changes uh, here itself by clicking on the smart object so I am just double clicking here it will open our uh, smart object image so just open it and here we got all these three layers so if you want to make any changes like if I am going to give um, if I am going to give the same color here so I'll just pick it and okay I got the yellow color and I'm just moving this layer a little bit down okay I'm just moving this layer a little bit down and I'm going to change the background color from yellow to white so just swap this and fill the color so I got it like this and after I'm closing this image it will automatically saved into the smart object just click on the yes button and okay uh, it is saving and we got it so we got it like this and this is having more cartoonic effect rather than before so this is the final output we made this cartoon effect from an image of Bollywood actress Deepika Padukone from her movie Bajirao Mustani see this was the photo and we have gone through this much of procedures to create uh, the final output see we got the final output so guys now you are able to make vector art painting from any photograph this was the first video from my artwork designing series what should be the next video you can put that in the comment box here do you want the tutorial on how to create smudge painting or do you want the tutorial on how to create caricature designing or do you want the tutorial on pencil drawing? Please put that in the comment box here. So that's all for today. Before I signing off, I would like to ask you, please do subscribe my channel. I will see you in the next video. Till then, 